think what I've decided is that I'm going to keep it the same as as last week, like the chores on the same day. Um, I it just makes it easier, and that way the kids get into a routine and they know like this is my day to do this, this is my day to do that. So we're gonna start with Katie. Her first chore is gonna be to check the mail. We have sweep. We the chores that we chose we picked them because uh, most of them will transfer with us when we go to the new house. There's some that won't. If we don't have chickens, then chickens won't go. But if we decide to get quail, then quail will kind of take its place. So um, there are a lot of uh, wood floors in that house. There's a, sub, there's a couple bedrooms. Well, actually, the bedrooms have it, and then the kitchen has a laminate floor in it. So um, she's got to make sure she's got a bedroom clean. We, we have our kids pick up the yard after every day because they're out playing in the yard. So the bicycles, um, the random sticks that my sons have made into swords, uh, things like that, we just have them pick them up and put them away. And um, because of the small amount of space that we're gonna have in the house that we're moving to, um, our kids have to do poop patrol. We have a dog, so we don't want them stepping in dog poop. So poop patrol is another one. And so, so that's her Monday's chores, and then we're gonna move on to Tuesday's. And so, when you look at it, they're not, they're much easier to see, and it's not so overwhelming, there's not as many. I mean, I could put more on here, but I think for, that, that's plenty for that day. And some days we'll have a little more, and some days we'll have a little less. On Tuesday, she has dusting and um, walls. And what we mean by that is, I, if you have children, you'll understand this. Um, you'll find about three feet up on your walls. Um, there is right here on the walls. There is this brown smudge <laughs> that runs all over your house. Um, so what we ask the kids to do is um, to make sure that they clean that because that was kind of a mess that they made. Um, and it's it's not it's not hard. It's just you know, taking like a Clorox wipe or a damp paper towel or something and just wiping off the walls. I'm good, baby. Thank you. Um, he just offered me bacon. He's so sweet. Um, so we have them clean the walls and usually wipe down like the baseboards too, because those can get kind of funky and nasty from just dirty feet and stuff like that. So, um, that's what, that's what we have them do. She has, um, on Tuesday, clear the table, weed, so like weeding the garden, weeding the flower beds. Um, when we move to um, the house in Dayton, um, the flower beds are probably gonna need some attention and I'll be out there helping her with this. We just don't like cut them loose. Well, some of them we do because this is a routine that they're in and you know they know the routine that they have to go through. So you know we are monitoring them and guiding them through what they need to do. So we have weed, um, the, clean out the coffee pot. Since we have a percolating coffee pot, um, they'll do that and then we'll dump the coffee grounds into the worm farm. Um, and then she has laundry that day. So what we do is, every, though it's an all play, we have people who are kind of in charge of laundry on that day and there's usually two of them because it's a big job for just one person. So um, like Katie will have laundry on Tuesdays and maybe Miles will have laundry too. And then Max and Jack are kind of the runners, the ones that help um, fold up and put away. So they'll be the ones in charge of getting it in and out of the dryer and bringing it into the upstairs. And um, then uh, Miles, Max and Jack will fold it up and or help fold it up and put it away. All right, so I've got two days done here and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna speed this up and then at the end, I'll show you what all of their um, their little charts look like. The other thing I wanna tell you is that I have put these on cardstock because it's easier, it's, it's a little more sturdy. So that way they can just go, and like if it gets wet, it doesn't fall apart because sometimes like if they're doing the dishes and they go to uh, mark something off and their hands are wet, that it can make the paper get all nasty. So I put it on cardstock so it's a lot easier for them um, to not mess it up quite as much. Right, so I've gotten Katie's chart done here. And the one thing that I added to hers is that I told you that we have chickens and rabbits and, and the other one that is a weekly thing that will rotate is indoor animals. So uh, the dog and the cat. Um, so I have one kid who will be on taking care of chickens for the week. I have one kid that'll be on taking care of the rabbits for the week. 
and then one kid that'll be taking care of the indoor animals for the week. So Katie gets the indoor animals. That means that she's got to feed and water Gina and Walter and make sure Walter's litter box is cleaned out. So that is how we do chores for our children.